He's been cagey about it, but we could see Peter Beardsley given a different, deeper role behind Lineker and Waddle, coming from an advanced midfield position. It's all this Swedish team, whose central defenders, numbers three and four, Glenn Hussein and Peter Larsson, like time and freedom to bring the ball forward. Officials are all from France. Gerard Biguet is the referee. He took charge of the Olympic final in Seoul, and he has two French linesmen, and away we go. England playing left to right. Sweden in yellow. Pettersson, Stromberg is in a good position here, looking for Holmquist. Butch has been drawn across, it's still Holmquist. <laughs> Referee appreciated the situation and uh, was prepared to overrule the linesman. There goes Waddle. Oh, sh sh no, there's a foul given. No, Chris Waddle was pulled up for the challenge on Glenn Hussein in the first place. We were almost back to the FA Cup final there when, uh, when Peter Beardsley uh, went on and put the ball in the net and then the play was pulled back. It's Beardsley, side netting. One section of the crowd thought the ball had gone in. Butcher, away by Larson. Barnes! It's the view from the England bench, and there's just under a couple of minutes left in this first half. No score. Stromberg, referee paid an advantage. Hussein. This is uh, Jung, and Shilton may have seen it late. Good effort from the left back. Yep. This is Pierce. Waddle. Oh, nice back heel. Barnes. Chance here. Oh, and Gary Lineker. Pierce. Barnes. Now Waddle. Lineker's waiting in the middle again. And this time the goalkeeper beats him to it. Now Webb again. And Waddle again. Crowd urging him on. Oh, good ball. Linick is in here. Well. Quist. Here's Pettersson. And Tern is free to his right. This is Jonas Tern. And Peter Shilton makes his second important save of the night. Joachim Nielsen. Stromberg again, Joachim Nielsen. And, uh, parry and grab again by Shilton from uh, number nine, Joachim Nielsen. Pierce. Webb. Waddle. It could be on for Robson or Lineker here. And Webb! That was deflected. Peter Larson got a foot in and it, it spooned up off him over the bar. This will be a fullback change. Barnes, Roland Nielsen, Barnes again. Good play by Barnes. Robson was there. Now then, Waddle's in. Was he pulled down from behind? Chris Waddle. The referee said no. It's on the ball. And now Butcher, and now Robson. Stromberg. Well done, Robson. Webb. Cotty. Beardsley. Can he slide Lineker through here? He can offside. Offside won't count. And I'm not sure it was Gary Lineker that was offside. What he is who just goes offside. Well, the final whistle went, Trevor, there. I think, uh, to be fair, that if you're level, you're offside. And I wouldn't argue with that linesman's decision. Bobby Robson walks off with Ollie Nordine. They have shared the points in this opening match in Group 2. <laughs>
Rupert Brooke. This is a foreign field which needs to be for England. Stevens. Broke pass or diagonally forward. This is he. Waddle, nice use of the chest again. Lineker, good tackle by Lech Bello. Burns! Good start from England. Again, the move on the right side. And a lovely touch in the middle of it from Chris Waddle. And John Barnes scores for the second England match run. Stevens with the build-up. Brocastle. A look at the touch here by Waddle. Lechbello just got in the challenge, but they'd all been sucked in. Barnes was unmarked. And he struck it very cleanly with the right foot. In challenge with Yossa. Shehu. There he is again. Walker just holds the ground, but Shehu goes past him. Corner because Yossa is still feeling the knock of a few moments ago. Out by Webb. Smiani struck it well! But wide. Especially 137 supporters here from England. Doesn't, of course, include the media and all the members of the England squad. Here's Shehu! Great credit to Pierce. The back players like to show themselves in attack, which is usually organised by Demolari. This is Shehu. Stevens changed his mind. This is Milo. Another good tip over. Web square, three in the box. Lineker, Rocastle, it was a good return ball. And Brian Robson it was who came in on the far post and just couldn't make the... She goes back, take a position on the far side. Lineker's the first to go. One by Robson! It's 2-0. Brian Robson, the England captain, once again, there when it mattered most. Got up very well, and he too has scored for England in consecutive match. The free kick, taken in the end by Barnes, and Robson got up so well to head down, and Massini was nowhere near it. Hesitancy by Demolari. Useful ball by Brian Robson, and Lineker gets there first. Now is the Baron spell going to end? No. Unlucky Gary Lineker, but an example can. Three more waiting. A lot of possession, no finish. Now Webb back across the front. Acrobatics by Smith, but to no avail. of whom are seated in shows just one change from that which won in Albania seven weeks ago. Peter Beardsley replaces John Barnes, the reasons for which are well known. Number 10, Hassan Papa wins his first cap in midfield. Free kick was given. Waddle again. Oh, what a chance for to take the lead, Gary Lineker has got the goal that he's waited for for so long, nearly a year in fact for England and it was presented to him by a really bad defensive mistake Lineker's international drought is over, Waddles cross Yera with the header and Lineker just had to nod that past a stranded goalkeeper after five minutes and the left back will have nightmares about this, he headed the ball back into Lineker's path and the 17-year-old keeper had no chance. Lineker again, he's away. Beardsley in the middle. Beardsley surely, two. And a man who wanted a goal for very different reasons. Pulling right, shaking off the challenge of Geiger. There was only Beardsley waiting at this point. And that's who Lineker found. Defenders all over the place, 
England 2, Albania 0. Start for England. Well, they're already further ahead than uh, Poland finished against uh, Albania, and that is important. The second one goes in. Robson, Robson floats one. Oh, good challenge by Butcher, put Waddle away. Lineker, Waddle, they're on their own at the moment, those two, and maybe that's enough, Waddle! Demolari. <laughs> Trying to pull it back for Bubeki. This is the substitute, Nogar. Demolari, that's a terrific goal for Albania. Demolari produces one there out of nothing to beat Peter Shilton but the linesman had his flag up and it's not going to count to the complete dismay of the Albanian bench Rowcastle Webb turning well oh and Robson got free that one. The uh, stadium announcer running through the list of England substitutes as Stuart Pearce crosses. Oh, and there's the volley, and the goalkeeper held it well. Walker to Lineker, Beardsley, Waddle. Pearce is coming up outside him. Webb's made a run through the centre. Lineker again. Pierce. Robson's now joined the players in the middle as well. In goes Lineker. Here's Robson. Oh, and the goalkeeper pulls him again. Waddle. Pierce's cross. Webb's underneath this. Lineker surely. Left it for Beardsley. And at last, number three goes in. And Peter Beardsley has his second and the Lineker-Beardsley combination works again and 63 minutes Pierce curls the ball in orthodox stuff Webb gets the header down accurately to Lineker he holds it up and Beardsley with that studied side foot pin and it's Robson now Pierce Robson Pierce again Gascoigne far side, oh Waddle! And the Tottenham connection pays off. Chris Waddle scores, set up by Paul Gascoigne, the substitute. Now led to two goals. Paul Gascoigne pulling away, sensible header in. Goalkeeper hesitated there, no doubt. And Waddle took advantage. Beardsley into Gascoigne, nicely done. And so was that by Gascoigne, brilliant. Oh. Turned in by Waddle, they've got a man over here. Robson came in and it's not his night. It's not his night, the captain. This is Parker. Now can England produce number five right at the end? This is Gascoigne. Going all the way, yes! Oh, that's terrific, Ben to be expected when he got the chance that he would seize it like that with the ability that they know he's got <laughs>a good touch and this is dangerous the spare player was Vias and Furtok away on the right and he's got Leshniak in the middle and they're coming up from midfield in numbers well there was a pertinent reminder there of what Poland can be like on the break but Chilton has got Waddle away Robson's just inside him Waddle goes again Matyshik oh Lineker and Waddle Bako saved it, it's Lineker again, can Webb get there, he can, well, possibilities there, Urban, now, 
Beardsley, it's a good tackle by Robson, and Linick is away, and Linick is onside, and this is going to be a free kick and a booking for sure. And the yellow card comes out, and Bucko, the goalkeeper, denies England the goalkeeper on, and just look at that. Three and five, respectively. Heads it back, and that was a real chance for Urban. Who, who nobody had picked up, left him completely unmarked. Here's Barnes. And Lineker. And Lineker, surely. It's in. England have taken the lead. John Barnes with the pass. Lineker into the goalkeeper first time and then from a tight angle right foot that's over the line as Brian Robson dives in and England have taken the lead just when we really needed it Beardsley to take the corner Butcher behind Barnes Barnes Webb good save by the goalkeeper from Neil Webb to Matichik. Vashika again, number 10. It's good play. Oh, and Krusik! And a brilliant header by Walker. It is Vadovchik. Vias, Matichik. And Leshniak. And Urban. Well, that's two chances for Waddle. Lineker, that's a good touch. Stevens now, can he get a quality cross in? He can, Barnes! Yes! That's the goal we wanted. And it's the goal that might be victory here. And deflated, and England celebrate. Gary Stevens here made up for any earlier crosses that didn't go his way. It was a beautiful ball, and Barnes at the far post to finish it off. This is Webb. Barnes. Rowcastle. And still took two to stop him. And here's Lineker, a terrible back pass. Rowcastle. Smith now. Webb. Three. And Poland commits suicide in defence. But a dreadful mistake here by Wojcicki, the number three. He presented that to Gary Lineker. Rowcastle across the goal. Smith couldn't get it, but Neil Webb certainly could. Rowcastle's cross. Lineker brought it down well. Smith. Robson's in there too. Oh, unlucky. Well, what a nice finish that would have been for the captain and for England. Brian Robson still with the energy to get him where it hurts, and he's no. second minute and he was bustled off the ball by Roland Nielsen now Waddle Neil Webb's in a good position here and he's seen John Barnes on the left Barnes up against Joachim Nielsen at the moment with no cover Linick is there oh great save by time now it's Sweden on the attack Roland Nielsen supporting here, and so too was Enquist. That's dangerous, and Butcher's in there, and Chilton makes a fine save, and Walker clears. And Peter Shilton this time responds. Joachim Nielsen and Enquist had the shot. Jonas Ten, well challenged by Neil Webb. Now Linick is in a good position if Beardsley finds him. Great position, and save by Rebelli. Saved by Rebelli again, and still Lineker. Oh, and chance for Magnussen, and it's taken. There was 
no foul there. Beautiful tackle by Des Walker. So clean, took the ball, and all the shouts are from the crowd. Swedish supporters screaming for a penalty. Oh, and a mistake by Walker and Magnussen. And, oh, goodness me. Walker, perhaps relieved at not giving away the penalty, suddenly gave Magnussen the clearest chance of the match. And it's Lineker for England. And it's Waddle. And still Waddle. No side netting. And in the middle, with Ekstrom, it's still Limpar. Oh! Butcher gets a kiss from Shilton. It wasn't all love and kisses, though. Near the end, Neil Webb was carried off with an Achilles problem that proved to be every bit as bad as it looked, out for four to six months. <laughs> a confirmation of the lineup. Really the only decisions that uh, Bobby Robson had to make on their side is Tchaikovsky. Tch it's hit long. That's a good challenge. With denied Chaubert. Very important from England's point of view that they don't get the crowd behind them early on. That's a good turn. And Bashika gets it in. Shot came from Jekanovski. Tadashevich wanting somebody to go on. Chaubert, Jekanovski. Stopped by Walker. Oh! Dunking drive and turned away by Peter Shilton. Chaubert, who started it, wants the ball back in midfield. Here he is. Beardsley got goal side briefly. Navrotsky. Ashika, it's a good cross and a good save. Chikanovsky again with a header. Space here for Christoph Ashika. Chikanovsky takes over, looks for the curler. Another good stop by Peter Shilton. More promising for England. More space here for Waddle. Navrotsky trying to get back to close it down. Only committed two up, now three. It's a testing one again, and Baku has to recover. Establish a new record to pass Pat Jennings. Record if England do well enough. Perhaps it's the four. And in it, if we're there, but it's not all over yet here. And that's not a bad try, it came off the crossbar. Shilton beaten for the first time, and it came Mika. And it was above the hand of Shilton and smack back off the crossbar now and England getting home with a smack of wood and the final whistle goes